recording. I think we're good. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Uh, we emptied out the deck because Henry's coming as we record this. So I've got lots of space here today for Mabel and I. It's 15 minutes of fire. This is workout block three. Okay, this is a good one. If you've got weights, grab them because you might want to use them. We're going to do some squat work, some lower body work. You want to have those nearby and we're going to get warmed up. Okay, so let's start with our feet under those hips, hands behind the head. Give me a little tick tock. You don't stop. Open up that side body. Those elbows stay back. The belly button stays in. Your feet are not too far apart from each other. Good. Hold it to one side. Look up. Other side up, bring those hands down, take the feet a little wider apart and just give me a side to side sway. Gorgeous. Nice work, nice work. You know what's coming next. Let's do those good mornings. Feet are at the end of the mat or the end of your space. Hands are behind the head. We're hinging forward, we're coming back up. Hinge forward, come on back up. Good. So I am keeping the top part of my body, right? Nothing changes. It's a hinge at the hips and I come back up. So I'm not changing my spine. I'm not rounding. My head is staying nice and straight right on the top of my head. Hinge forward and back. Good. Go ahead and take those hands down. Walk it out to plank. Good. Drop to those knees. And give me a couple of cat cows here. So arch, look up at the sky. Exhale, pull the belly in. Good. Two more times like that. Look up. Pull in. Take it slow. Really articulate. Last one like this. Wag from side to side. Good. Four. Three, two, beautiful. Go ahead and push back the down dog. Hang up here for a hot sec. Bend the right leg, the left leg if you want to. Get into those calves, get into the back. Mm. Feels so good. Walk your hands back to your feet. With me nice and slow, roll through the spine. Articulate through the spine. Oh yeah, that feels good. Let's come on up. Beautiful, okay. Let's get right into it. We got a, we've got a squat with a rear kick. So it's a squat and then you're going to kick your leg back, squeeze your butt, squat, opposite leg. What I want you to watch out for is any big arching of the back, okay? Belly buttons in and that kick doesn't need to be big. It just needs to work the back of that body. This is a great combination. One minute of work. If you want to grab a weight, now's a good time to do it. Okay, here we are. We're going in three. Oh, hold on, I put the calculator on instead of the timer. <laughs> it's early in the morning. Okay, here we go. Three, two, and one. Let's do it. We're going to squat down, kick back. We've got 15 minutes of work. We're going to go quick. Okay. This is. Our first block is five exercises, one minute each, okay? It's gonna be all lower body. So I'll run you through what we've got, yeah? Okay, so we've got these squats for about 30 more seconds. We're gonna drop the weight. We're gonna do three pulses in one jump. If you're not jumping, if you're doing three pulses in a squat, up on your tiptoes, yeah? Good. Then we've got some side lunges with an extension, side extension instead of rear. And then we've got some curtsies, which you might want to pick your weight up for again. Good, three, two. So I'm gonna drop my weight now, right? I've got three pulses, three, two, one. I'm gonna do a jump squat. On the fourth one, three, two, one, jump. Three, 
two, one, jump. All right, jump, stay with me. Three, two, one. If you're not jumping, you're tippy toes. Three, two, one, jump. Three, two, one, jump. Good, keep going. I'm going to grab my weight for the side lunge extension, but I'm going to show you how to do it without it first. Good. We're almost there, gang. You got less than 10 seconds. Can you get two more of these in? Jump. Three, two, one, jump. Ah, oh, shake it out. Okay, side lunge, parallel feet. Sit back. Give me a side kick. Side lunge, side kick. All right, that's all there is to it. I'm going to grab my weight just to add a little something, something. So I drop it down, out to the side. Good. So it's really important here that we work on some range of motion. If you don't have your weight, so let me give you some ideas. I like to touch down and reach up. Maybe I'll do that with you for a little bit. Good. Stay with it, gang. Top of the body stays still, right? We're not doing any weird side movement. Good. Three, two. Nice work. Get into it on the other side. There we go. I'm in now. So my top half of my body is still, right? Our instincts are to lean into the exercise. I want you to really maintain a strong posture in the upper body, okay? The twerking of your spine is going to be counterproductive. Keep going. Hmm. Keep going. Sorry, there's something happening weird with my, I'm hoping you're not seeing this. <laughs> Good. All right, keep on going. <laughs> Sorry, a little wacky, wacky screen situation. Beautiful. If you got your weights, hold on to them. We're doing curtsies next. Three, two, one. All right, curtsies are next. I'm gonna create a little bit of space for myself. Kettlebell comes here. You can grab your weights. If you don't have any, that's fine. We're gonna curtsy down to one side, up over to the other side. So the curtsy is like a lunge, but it's a little off to the side. And we're just getting that outer glute a little bit more with the curtsy. Good, if you wanna just stick with the regular lunge, if that feels better for you, you can just do regular straight lunges. If you've got, keep going, I'm not gonna be on the same side as you. If you've got dumbbells, you could add a bicep curl if you wanted to. Lots of options. Good, stay with it, you got 10 seconds. And we're done with this first block. Nice work. Three, two, and one, nice work. Okay, we've got a five minute AMRAP. It is 10 push-ups, 10 triceps, 10 jump backs. You don't necessarily need to do the jump up. Let's stay together for the first round and then we'll, we'll go at our own pace, okay? Does that sound good? Of course it does. 10 push-ups on your toes or on your knees. Here we go. Exhale the way up. Good, nice work. When you're done with that, you're gonna flip it around. You're gonna point those fingers towards your tush. Hips come up, we're gonna lower and lift for 10. Good. Elbows are pointing back. All right, and now we're on to the jump backs. So there's a couple of different varieties. The Jump back that I'm going to do. Middle of the row, jump back. Hands come down. I jump back into a plank. I jump forward. I stand up. 
If you don't want to do that, you can walk back, walk forward, come on up. If you don't want to do that, you can crawl forward, crawl back, come on up, okay? You can also do a full burpee. Keep on going. So I count those as my three. Now let me tie my shirt. Good, keep on going. When you're done with these, you're gonna go right back to the push-ups. Take a break, catch your breath whenever you need to. You shake it out, catch your breath, go right back into it. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, around and around we go. We're in it now. If you can hear me, you can hear that I try to exhale through the work, right? So where's the hardest part of the work? That's what I'm exhaling through. On the push-ups and the triceps, it's on the way up. Good. Tight shoulders make that exercise challenging, so you know, be kind to yourself. All right, kids, we're halfway through this. It's not supposed to be easy, right? It's supposed to be 15 minutes of fire. And there are certain points in these workouts where you're supposed to need to take a break. This is interval training. Good work. Hmm. Okay, kids, we're heading up to the 90 second mark. Keep breathing. Woo. Oh yeah. I'm trying to push my own limits as long as, it, as well as helping you push yours. That's what we're all here for. Just see where the line is. And go ahead and push yourself and you'll get a little bit stronger. Oh yeah, come on, come on, come on. We have less than a minute left, gang. We're gonna bring it down to mountain climbers as soon as we're done with this. So just go for it and then we're on our back for the rest of the session. Good, come on. Go, go, go. I'm gonna do two more of these, two extras for good measure over there, four, three, and one. Last five minutes of work. Got it. Mountain climbers whenever you're ready. Here we go. And the timer's on. So, join me in a plank. All right, so let's start there. And we're gonna take this slow. Catching our breath. If you wanna go fast right away, go ahead. I'm gonna work on my core. So I'm practicing Pulling the knee up and in, pull up and in. Keeping those shoulders over the wrist. Good. Nice work guys, stay with it. You can start to pick up the pace now. A little bit faster. 
Oh yeah. Mountain climbers get harder as we go, kind of like probably climbing a mountain. <laughs> Good, here we go. Pick up the pace, last 10 seconds. Three, two, woo. Come on. The hardest part in my opinion is past us, okay? Come on, let's do glutes. Let's do some glutes. Hands down by the side, feet are down, flat, and we're lifting up and down. So close your eyes and really intentionally focus in on your feet and your glutes and your hamstring. Good. Hold it up, little pulses. Beautiful guys, stay with it. What do we have next? Bicycles. Tabletop those legs, flex the feet, belly buttons and press the lower back to the ground. Inhale, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale through the center, exhale. Keep on going. Let's start to pick it up a little bit. Little bit more. A little bit faster. Good. We've got V-ups coming next. Remember, if you're not doing V-ups, you can do sit-ups. That's okay. Three, two, and one, get your arms and legs nice and long. And we're gonna be up to the center and back down. Here we go. Nice work, guys. Keep breathing. We are almost at the end of this. We're gonna practice our hollow holds. So full expression of the hollow hold, keep on going. I need to untie my shirt. Um, is, would be very challenging for a whole minute. If you can do it, bravo. But I'm going to start you with getting into the hollow position and then trying to extend it out. Okay, good, bring the knees into the chest. How are you doing for a hot sack? Last minute of work, you guys. Let's start with tabletop legs. Flex those, uh, let's point the feet this time. And arms are up, okay? And I'm gonna have you bring the shoulders off the ground and squeeze the butt. So you're gonna squeeze your butt and you're gonna try to create a little hollow. You're gonna have a little C on the inside. Okay, this may feel like enough. This is challenging, you guys. If you want to play with it, Bring the arms back, but if you start to drop down, this is no longer a hollow hold. So get yourself up, right? And then see if you can bring those arms back. This is challenging. Take your left foot out. Hollow. Good, bring it center. Right foot out, hollow. Squeeze the butt. Good, bring it to the center. If you want to practice with me, I'm going to do full expression, arms and legs right here for 10 seconds. Squeezing the butt, getting the shoulders off the ground for three, two, and we're done. Nice work, you guys. High five. The workout's done. You did great. You did great. I love you. I will see you back here tomorrow morning, okay? All right. Love you tons. Bye.